Hi everybody, this is Jean, and I'm going to Hi everybody. do a page this is in Jean, my journal, um, and I'm going to check from it. all the junk that I found in my purse. This particular page here I've opened up to, though, was just um, uh, a page that I did for my Facebook group, Art It Out, uh, some positive words, and um, I'm already throwing out some stuff out of my purse that I, <laughs> I have. Uh, there it is, my purse. There's my full of junk and papers and receipts and all that kind of stuff. But um, uh, I did get some washi tape for my daughter. She gets it at work. They don't use it. She asks everybody if they want it. They don't. They don't like it or they don't like the print on it. Of course, I accept all and every washi tape that anybody wants to give me, and I will use it. I will use it all the way through to the end. I will use every bit of it. This is my down the rabbit hole journal. Just come on in and you get what you get because everything is different. There's no theme to this at all. Um, the painting that I did, she calls it at uh, Art It Out, she calls it a ink stick drawings that she does. And so everybody's trying it where you just draw um, a face really, really fast and uh, then you color it in, it's supposed to kind of bring out your emotional uh, feelings at the moment. So I don't know, is that me? <laughs> I don't have blue hair, I don't have long hair, I don't know about that expression, I look a little shell-shocked in that, maybe, if that's supposed to be me. But uh, anyway, I played around with it and that's what I came up with. And I did it in a journal, which I don't usually paint in the journal like that, I guess. But anyway, that was kind of fun. So I'm looking for a page to do all my receipts. And um, I, I only turned one back one. I thought, boy, this is really colorful. Uh, I don't have a lot of color in the receipts. So uh, I probably need a pretty colorful background. So anyway, um, I put the washi tape on the top just to cover that up. Uh, that blank area at the top um, pretty carelessly as usual I don't mind it when I'm doing it I don't mind it when I'm looking back on it but when I'm watching myself do it I think why 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 do not I see that it's all crooked <laughs> uh, this pulled the page back every time I let go it just pulled that page back so I cut it and uh, I probably could have left it, but it did leave a little tiny gap there, so of course I have to fix that little gap, and then it pulled the page back again. <laughs> so, so anyway, I left it. didn't pull it back as much as it had before, but uh, anyway, I put it along the bottom as well, but it's out of the frame, and you can't see it. So, but it is along the whole bottom of the frame and uh, of the both pages, and it uh, it looks pretty good, except of course it's just a hair crooked. So I'm starting to pull out everything out of my purse here, um, throwing away those receipts. This is my first uh, ticket stub. Uh, my daughter and I went to tea at a wonderful place and then uh, while we were having tea I said why don't we go see Victorian Abdul today it seems like a nice little English day and so we looked it up and the nearest theater was in Marimont and it was playing there and so we finished our tea without rushing at all and uh, even lingering somewhat and then uh, managed to make the uh, afternoon performance and it was wonderful. It was a great movie, a lot of fun, quite funny, which I wasn't expecting. But I really, really did enjoy it. There's my watch dinging, uh, some, um, some page, uh, some announcements, but nothing important. So um, I put down the, the green ticket stub is from the Batavia football game where my grandson plays in the marching band and that one is from La Comedia every year um, well every month of the year I made a resolution to do something really fun and kind of major 
So I have done that every month of the year. I've gone to different uh, places, dinner theater, went up in a balloon. I went uh, to the Circus Soleil. I went to a uh, Broadway show. I've just done different things every time, a musical with some concerts, uh, just different things. And we decided at the last minute to go to La Comedia in the morning. I says, hey, we haven't been there. Let's go. And Mamma Mia was playing, and it was just fabulous. I went with a couple of friends and my daughter, and we just uh, just had a blast. Uh, that ticket there is for a movie that I saw. I think it's called Over the Mountain or On the Other Side of the Mountain or Down the Mountain or something like that with Kate Winslet, and it was excellent. Yeah, you know, don't ask me to remember anything. I don't remember titles. But it was excellent, and um, I would go and see that again. I just really had a good time. Now that I'm doing a voiceover, you're going to hear all these little beeps and pings and all this from my computer. <laughs> there it goes again. Um, so anyway, um, I bought... I didn't use my movie pass since then because I did go to see a couple movies. I bought a movie pass, which is $9.99, and you can see um, a movie every day at the movie theater. And uh, so I have that, and I haven't uh, launched it yet, but I plan to see a movie probably today because <laughs> I can go every day to see a movie. And it's just $9.99. So go to moviepass.com and look it up. It's, if you like movies and like to go to the movies, do that. Those are a bunch of receipts from fast food, from thrift stores, from Walmart, from different places, Kroger's. Um, I just threw, threw out because I don't save those. Um, I'm talking through this video because that's how I normally make it. I don't do voiceovers. So it was so choppy, and I just got distracted a lot thinking about what I had been doing, thinking about looking through my purse. So I just decided to do a voiceover on this. I thought it would maybe would go a little more smoothly. Um, I tend to be very vague. I trail off. I uh, forget to finish sentences. And I think it's somewhat hard to watch some of my videos for that reason. <laughs> so... Uh, so I'm doing a voiceover, and uh, right now I'm telling you about the Law Comedia show. It was um, probably the best one I've seen at Law Comedia. I've seen probably a dozen there over the years uh, because we lived in this area for quite some time. And I did have, uh, I did have a season pass one year, so that that's too much. I don't want to go to um, dinner theater every month of the year. I get bored with that. I like to do different things. So um, so anyway, um, my favorite thing at La Comedia is eating their, um, their sweet potato casserole. Probably the best thing ever, ever, ever. And um, we make it um, Christmas and Thanksgiving every year because they give out their recipe. Isn't that nice? And it tastes just like what you get there at the theater. Here I'm pasting in the Young's um, receipt because it's just a reminder that we did go to Young's twice. I haven't been since my son's wedding. It was nearby and we all went to Young's after the wedding, the day after the wedding. Um, but uh, I went twice this year, and it was a lot of fun. They, they're big on all their fall activities, and they have special ice creams, and it's all made from scratch. Um, they've been there so many years that they can still sell raw milk now. You know that's a long time, probably a 1,000 years. So let me see. Um, these are some more uh, little receipts from places that I was at. I think that is that a Graders. I can't see. It's very small here. Um, I probably should have got my book out while I'm doing this voiceover, but of course it, I didn't. It's in the kitchen. And um, I'm making sure everything's glued down very well. But I did go to Grater's for ice cream, and I went to Young's for ice cream, and bought ice cream at UDF. So uh, I had a big ice cream month this year, this, uh, this month. October, I did seem to be very busy. 
on my year of things to do, I didn't do anything in September because we were anticipating the birth of uh, my grandson every single day. So I didn't want to buy any tickets where I might have to um, miss the event and because of going to the hospital. So, um, so I didn't uh, actually go to a ticketed event, but probably it was the biggest and most special event of the whole year anyway because I haven't had a grandchild born in 16 years. And so um, he is very special, little Bennett Alexander, and as cute as a button, I'm telling you, I just can't get over it. I'm so thrilled with how wonderful he is and what a snuggly baby and the cute pictures they post. Um, so anyway, um, and now I don't even, I don't have a picture. Oh, I do have a picture. Um, I just got, got it yesterday in the mail. His birth announcement had some pictures. So um, I will probably be showing a picture pretty soon. But it is on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen him and you've seen what a cutie he is. They posted a Halloween picture yesterday. Oh my gosh, so adorable. I'm, I'm bad. I am gushing. I will stop. On my Victoria and Abdul ticket, it didn't say what movie it was that we saw because I have the wrong part of the receipt, I guess. And so I wrote that in. And I also tried to color the youngs and make it a little more festive, but it looks terrible. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little color here, and I marked um, so you could see what what uh, play that I saw at La Comedia. The um, painting, that's part of my October. I did Inktober, where you do a sketch in ink every day of the month, and also Whimsy Ween, where you put on a, a picture that you paint um, every day, a whimsical picture every day that usually has a Halloween theme. You see how scary this girl is? Well, I didn't always follow the prompt. Um, so anyway, um, that is the first time I've ever done anything and actually followed through. I did start on the 5th of the month doing it, but I did more than 31 uh, pictures. So I did catch up and I followed through with it and I just had a, a lot of fun doing that. I don't normally draw people, and so I'm just kind of happy with how it came out. Now, the last weekend of the month, I went to the Western Kentucky University football game. They are going to do a bowl game this year, I believe, um, because they did well. They didn't do well last weekend. They lost big time. But uh, I went to the game because my granddaughter marches in the marching band as part of the color guard. And we got there just in time, <laughs> just in time. They do a parade through the campus, they do a pregame show, and then they do their halftime show. And they are fabulous. Western Kentucky University, they are just a great, great band, a great uh, color guard. So uh, we had fun. We stayed all night there. We had a girls' night. My daughter, my granddaughter, and myself. We got Chinese food after the game. It was very late. The game was a long game and it was freezing cold. And so we got uh, went right to the hotel where it was nice and warm, and uh, enjoyed the evening, the rest of the evening, and in the morning a nice breakfast there. But I love that little sh sleeping like a baby instead of something that you hang on the on the door. So I stole it. That's a magnet, and I was going to put it on my refrigerator, but uh, seemed good in the book. <laughs> so um, so anyway, that was a that was a fun trip. It seemed like every weekend I was gone. I was gone to my daughter's uh, doing things. We not only did uh, football games, we did a lot of other things this, uh, this football season. These are some of the pictures that I did for Inktober, and I, these are the, some of the Jane Davenport-themed ones. I did take my 
uh, paints, the travel paints. I bought two of the travel paints and I have a brush, uh, aqua brush that's easy to carry. So uh, that's of course is my wipe thing that I'm going to do something with. And these are some of the pictures that I posted for Whimsy Ween. If you follow me on uh, Instagram, it's Jean, or Art with Jean Bainey. But I spelled Jean, J-E-A-N, of all the crazy things. That one I did a uh, silhouette because the painting was so bad that I wasn't going to show it to anybody. <laughs> this one, for some reason, has gotten the most um, comments. Or not the comments, but the most views so maybe it's the best one I don't think so it's not my favorite but um, I did have a good time with um, with doing it so I had an eventful October and I did want to make a page of some of the things that I did I didn't save every receipt I didn't save every movie ticket I didn't save every um, event ticket but and so I've, I've already forgotten some of the things I've done. Even even the fact that I had people over. Um, I had a nice Halloween get-together with my friends here at the house. And we carved pumpkins and baked pumpkin seeds and, and um, gave out candy to two, let me count them, two trick-or-treaters who were not even in costume. <laughs> but they saw my pumpkin glowing out on the front porch. And it was a lot of fun. But thanks for watching. I'm all finished now. It's going to run out. And I just want to say um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> okay.